Okay, welcome back guys. So in this tutorial, we're gonna create this like apple kind of rotting effect uh, using fields. New in Cinema 4D R20. Very, very powerful tool. Basically replacing uh, fall off. Okay, so this is just my startup scene. Um, it's basically just a cube, a floor, a couple of lights, a camera, sky, background. So uh, it's just one of these kind of template scenes I created. But I'm just gonna delete the cube. And I'm going to open my Apple file. So I went to Turbo Squid for this particular file. Very easy to find. Just type into Google Free Apple Turbo Squid, and it's literally the first uh, entry. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my Apple, import it in. And I'm just going to go to the material. For some reason, um, transparency and alpha is turned on. And if I turn them off, I get a nice, lovely apple. I'm going to copy my apple, and I'm going to go to my load up scene, edit, paste, and it's looking kind of small, let's just make this bad boy a bit big. I'm just going to go to my view, and I'm just going to lift it off the floor slightly, so it's kind of hovering. Um, and let's just render this. And that's an apple, looking lovely. Now we're probably going to have to replace this material. Um, unfortunately. But anyway, okay. First thing we need to do is um, create a volume builder and a volume mesher. Okay? So the volume mesher is like the final stage. Uh, volume builder is where we kind of prototype. So I'm going to put the volume builder inside the volume mesher. My apple, let me just make that nice and big apple. I'm going to put that in the volume builder. Now, as you can see, it's kind of changed. It's become um, low resolution. That's because the volume builder basically, it's kind of like a Boolean operation, but um, the result's like not fixed. Um, it's kind of a procedural object right now. So the voxel size is 10 centimeters. If I make this five, it's gonna be more detailed. And I'm just gonna leave it at uh, about eight for now for preview purposes, so it's nice and quick. Okay. So the next stage is, um, so basically here inside the volume builder, we can make, we can do kind of like Boolean operations. So we can add a field. So I'm just going to go create a field and I'm going to add a random field. Now This is very strange, right? Adding a random field, but I'm just going to drop this into my volume builder. And as you can see here, it's basically created this kind of strange cube at the bottom. And even if I move the field, nothing happens. And this is kind of like quite strange, but um, if you just go to the volume builder, random field, as you can see, it's added in the list. Um, down here where it says box size, let's make this 300. And you can see that cube growing 300. And let's make it 650 along Y. Should hopefully cover the apple, oh, a little bit of stock. So let me make it 700. So 300, 700, 300. Okay. Now, if I go to volume type fog, which is a lot more detailed, so we have two volume builder modes, signant, signed distance field and fog. Now, fog's a lot more detailed. And I'm just gonna go to my random field and I'm gonna use multiply. As you can see, it's basically taking a, it's basically taking the intersection between the apple and the random field. And I'm just going to go to my random field and I'm going to set the type, sorry, the random mode to noise. Uh, we have different noise types now. Uh, wavy turbulence is a good one. I'm going to make the scale 900, sounds good. I'm just going to increase my voxel size now, just to get some more detail in here. Okay, let's just render this. And as you can see, it's quite a nice kind of rotting effect, but uh, unfortunately the texture map is gone. And um, now, the final stage, the final object we need to create this rotting effect is uh, create, again, a field, and we're gonna use a cylinder field. Now, that's created a nice cylinder. I'm gonna go to my four view. I'm just gonna make the height about here, make sure it just covers the entire apple. Maybe drop the... Okay, that's fine. 
I'm going to put the cylinder field into the volume builder. And I'm going to make this... What was the mode? I forget. But if you just scan through all the different modes, one of them is going to hit. Ah, we have a problem. We have the same issue here. Look, it's kind of created the object at the bottom here. So again, we're going to have to go to the cylinder field box size and go 300, <clears throat> 700, 300, as we did before for the random field. Now we're starting to see results. Okay. Uh, it isn't subtract. I believe it was multiply, actually. Yep, multiply. So, look, watch this now. If I adjust the cylinder field, it kind of eats into the apple until nothing's left in the middle. So, this is basically going to be the driving force of the animation. Okay, so I'm just going to keyframe. Keyframe at 10, because it's good to leave a bit of space. Uh, cylinder field. Keyframe on the radius. Go to frame, say, 95. Let's drag this bad boy in. Oh no, not that one. This one. All the way in till it's zero, basically. And keyframe. So if I play this back, the apple's decaying. Now, as you can see, even at the beginning of the animation, it's kind of decayed as well. And we don't want that. So we can kind of cheat. And we can go to um, the volume measure. And if we drive down the voxel range threshold, it goes back to the original Apple. So we can basically keyframe this. So let's go to keyframe 10, keyframe, uh, go to 95, and bring this up to, I don't know, 55%. If I play this back, we start at the original smooth Apple, and then it kind of fades into the decayed Apple. In fact, I might make it decay a lot quicker. I'll bring this keyframe back to about 50. Yeah, about here. And that's looking good. Maybe bring it back to 45. And that's pretty much it. So the next thing you want to do is basically go to Volume Builder and make the voxel size before you render like really small so you get some nice detail. Um, obviously, it's going to choke the CPU, but... Um, as you can see, if I just render this, uh, this is the amount of detail we want. And that looks beautiful. And that is basically the animation.